Join me as I dive deep into the chilling story of El Chino Antrax, the deadliest hitman of the Sinaloa cartel, and see if I can uncover the truth about his infamous life. El Chino Antrax was a name that sent shivers down the spines of even the most hardened criminals in Mexico's underworld. This notorious hitman was feared by all, and his reputation for brutality and efficiency earned him a revered place among the ranks of the Sinaloa cartel. On October 18, 2013 at a birthday party, a hitman disguised as a clown executed Francisco Rafael Arellano Felix, the infamous leader of the Tijuana cartel. Today we know that this hitman was Jose Rodrigo Arechiga Gamboa, better known as El Chino Antrax, the most feared assassin of the Sinaloa cartel. In this video, we will tell you his story and reveal how someone with an apparently normal life ended up immersed in the dark world of drug trafficking. Jose Rodrigo Arechiga was born on June 15 in Culiacan, Sinaloa into a family of good reputation and means. His father was a government official and his mother was an academic. However, a powerful influence lived next door, the Zambadas. This surname belongs to Ismael El Mayo Zambada, co-founder of the Sinaloa cartel and a key figure in Mexican drug trafficking. The friendship between Arechiga and the Zambada children marked his life from a young age. They attended school together, played, and shared social events. Although he was not part of the Zambada family business in his childhood, his destiny would soon change. Initially, Arechiga showed no interest in a criminal life but personal circumstances led him down a one-way street. After attempting to be a pilot in the Mexican army and studying architecture at university, his life took an unexpected turn, he became a father and husband. This new responsibility required higher income, leading him to seek help from his childhood friend, Vicente Zambada, known as El Vicentillo. Mexico's drug war has been raging on for decades, leaving a trail of bloodshed and devastation in its wake. As the cartels continued to grow in power and influence the violence escalated and the rule of law slowly began to disintegrate. In this environment of chaos and fear, El Chino Antrax thrived becoming a symbol of the utter lawlessness that had gripped the nation. The Drug Enforcement Administration, or DEA, estimates that over 20,000 people have been murdered in Mexico's drug war since 2006. Many of these victims were innocent civilians, caught in the crossfire of cartel rivalries or simply in the wrong place at the wrong time. As the body count continued to rise, El Chino Antrax's legend grew, with many believing him to be responsible for hundreds, if not thousands, of these brutal murders. The brutal tactics employed by El Chino Antrax and his fellow hitmen only added fuel to the fire, as beheadings, torture and other forms of gruesome violence became commonplace. This atmosphere of fear and intimidation created a sense of impunity among the cartels, who felt they could operate with complete disregard for the law. Starting with minor tasks like transporting shipments, Arechiga demonstrated skill and cunning. His creativity led him to devise a trafficking system that disguised large amounts of drugs under seemingly legitimate transportation companies. This scheme allowed him to move shipments of cocaine and marijuana into the United States without raising suspicion. Over time, El Chino Antrax gained the trust and favor of El Mayo Zambada, who promoted him to positions of greater responsibility. With impressive ingenuity and a reputation as one of Mexico's most ruthless hitmen, Jose Rodrigo Arechiga, El Chino Antrax, is now a symbol of the history of drug trafficking and the dark transformation of those caught in the violent world of crime. Join us in this video to learn the details of his life and his fall from grace. Jose Rodrigo Arechiga, known as El Chino Antrax, went from being the feared hitman of the Sinaloa cartel to a traitor who endangered his former allies. But what led him to become a ruthless assassin and later an informant? Today, we share this incredible story. Bloodlust and Violence, the creation of the Antrax. It all began when Arechiga started showing an insatiable thirst for blood, becoming famous for his brutal methods. The bodies of his victims appeared mutilated in public as macabre warnings. 
Mayo Zambada seized on this violent instinct and made him his personal bodyguard, but then assigned him a more dangerous mission, to combat the Beltran Leyva organization in a bloody civil war within the cartel. Thus, Arechiga formed his own squadron, Los Antrax, a lethal group that ravaged Sinaloa for five years, turning him into a feared and respected legend. In this world of violence and bloodshed, El Chino Antrax's rise to prominence was all but inevitable. Born Jose Rodrigo Arechiga Gamboa, he grew up on the streets of Culiacan, the epicenter of the Sinaloa cartel's operations. From a young age he was drawn to the cartel's promise of power and wealth, and he quickly proved himself to be a ruthless and efficient killer. Rise and fall, arrogance on social media, and the final betrayal. Over time, Arechiga's relentless violence led him to amass millions of dollars which he spent on luxury. He boasted on social media with yachts, sports cars, and even photos with celebrities like Paris Hilton. But this exposure soon attracted the attention of authorities. In 2013 he was arrested in the Netherlands, and after being extradited to the United States, he ended up betraying many of his former associates, which helped destabilize the Sinaloa cartel. This betrayal was unforgivable for Mayo and the cartel leaders. El Chino Antrax's early life was marked by violence and instability, with his father being murdered when he was just a teenager. This traumatic event would shape his worldview and cement his desire for revenge against the world. His recruitment into the cartel was almost a foregone conclusion, given his skills and predisposition towards violence. As El Chino Antrax's reputation grew, so did his ego, and he began to see himself as a sort of Robin Hood figure, taking from the rich and giving to the poor. However, this justification did little to mask the brutal reality of his actions, and he soon became known as one of the most feared hitmen in the cartel. The return to Sinaloa, and the final revenge. El Chino Antrax's methods were brutal and merciless, often involving torture, beheadings, and other forms of gruesome violence. His victims were often left with signs of his calling card, a gruesome trademark that struck fear into the hearts of all who saw it. One pivotal moment in El Chino Antrax's career came when he was tasked with taking out a high-ranking member of a rival cartel. This contract killing would cement his status as one of the cartel's most reliable and deadly hitmen, and it marked a turning point in his rise to the top. The rival cartel member, known only by his alias El Guero, was notorious for his own brutal methods, and his elimination sent shockwaves throughout the underworld. El Chino Antrax's meticulous planning and ruthless efficiency earned him the respect and admiration of his fellow cartel members, and he was hailed as a hero by the organization. As El Chino Antrax's star continued to rise, he became embroiled in a series of high-profile confrontations with rival cartels and law enforcement agencies. His notoriety brought him to the attention of the DEA, who placed him on their most wanted list. Released in 2020 under house arrest in the United States, Arechiga escaped and returned to Sinaloa. However, 10 days later, armed men invaded his sister's house, where he was hiding. The three were brutally murdered, leaving a clear message of revenge. Although it was never confirmed who ordered his death, the lack of reprisals from the cartel indicates that El Mayo Zambada likely permitted or approved of his execution. El Chino Antrax's impact on the Sinaloa cartel and Mexican society as a whole cannot be overstated. He represents the worst excesses of the drug war, a conflict that has left countless innocent victims in its wake. His brutal methods and complete disregard for human life serve as a stark reminder of the dangers posed by the cartels and their ruthless pursuit of power and wealth. El Chino Antrax left behind the safety of the United States to face a fate that seemed inevitable. Tell us, do you think he made the right decision in returning? If you enjoyed this video please leave them in the comments below, subscribe, give it a like, and activate the bell to not miss our upcoming videos. See you next time!